You guys, I am so excited because I feel like a gold miner in the 1800s. I have found that vein of gold. I have found an amazing fragrance house that makes super high quality X straight de parfum fragrances all for about $40. It is absolutely mind blowing. Not to mention the sheer number of expensive niche fragrances that they make these twists on. It's kind of mind blowing, but today we're going to be going over some fragrances from the house of Barrett Fragrances. And trust me, you're going to want to stick around for the whole video. And today we're going to be checking out three of the fragrances, but honestly, I think I bought almost close to 10 from them so far because they're just really that good. We're going to be checking out their 40 knots, their Roja Elysium and Gentle Fluidity Silver twists. So stick around, make yourself comfortable, and let's jump right in. How's it going, everyone? It's Eli with Common Sense, and thank you so much for joining the video. And if you're new to the channel, welcome. It's amazing to have you. Now, before we start the video, I do want to say that Barrett Fragrances was super nice, and they actually hooked you guys up with a 20% off coupon code. So if you use the code Common Sense, you can save 20% your entire order, and you can also help support the channel at the same time. Now, I have ordered a ton of these fragrances, like I said before, but this is basically going to be your presentation. You have this really cool, just nice, minimal minimalistic style box. It's a very matte texture to it, so it's kind of satisfying. And I don't know, I actually really like the very plain packaging of this. I feel like it definitely saves on the production cost, but the bottle itself is where the magic is at. So these fragrances come in a couple different sizes. You do have the 10 milliliter travel atomizers, and these are kind of cool because they just rotate and you know, the little cap pops up and you can just spray yourself. And so these are really nice, especially if you want just a nice travel atomizer and they'll last you a really long time. And then of course you have the 55 milliliter extra to parfum bottles. I'm actually gonna do the honor on screen. Oh, that's satisfying. But check out how amazing and regal these bottles look. They are very similar to just these classy niche fragrance bottles and the cap, I gotta say, I'm a huge fan of the cap because it's very, it's very heavy and it's got a nice weight to it. And just the bottle and presentation feels way, way more expensive than it actually is. And so when you're dealing with some, you know, twists and C-L-O-N-E fragrances, I still want this video to stay up with YouTube's changes. But I feel like with some Middle Eastern fragrance companies, if you're completely copying everything about the fragrance down to the bottle, I feel like it can be a little bit cheap and I don't know, it's just not my style. But I gotta say, I love these fragrance bottles and this first one we're checking out is Lone Ranger. Check out these atomizers really strong and I want to say they're a little bit different between each one. I want to say the gold bottles or at least one of my bottles has a nice pressurized atomizer so that might have been an old one or it could have been a new one. Not entirely sure but oh my goodness does that smell very very close to the original Maison Francis Kirk John General Fluidity Silver. I feel like the original Maison Francis Kirk John General Fluidity Silver is a really hard to find fragrance if you want a more affordable version and I've tried a couple different ones from a couple different companies. I've tried the Frag Bar, you know, private blend, and I've tried this one. And supposedly there are a couple other ones, but I gotta say this one, this one's probably one of the better ones that I've smelled so far. Now, right off the bat, when you first spray them, I want to say that the Gentle Fluidity Silver comes off a little bit more musky and it's almost a little bit more salty. And you still have that really nice gin accord, that really nice crisp juniper berries. And it really just does smell like a clean, hotel linen and it just smells absolutely beautiful but there is still that really nice coriander that slightly piney sweetness and I do catch a lot of those same exact notes and profiles in the Lone Ranger. Yeah this has that really nice subtle sweetness and warmth from the coriander, the nutmeg and also the amber so it's still a little bit woody but it still smells very aquatic and again like that nice crisp gin and juniper berry. It just smells so unbelievably good and as this one dries down it definitely gets a lot closer and I feel like with some of the real fresh notes in the opening sometimes it can smell a little bit different between the different clones but at least with this one in the dry down once you give it about 20 minutes or so it smells so so close to the original one. In terms of performance and longevity on this one I do get about eight to nine hours of longevity so that's actually really really good and I want to say it goes really strong for the first four hours or so. So this stuff it really does last. It 
pushes out a couple feet past you and you are gonna be leaving that really nice intoxicating scent trail. And I've noticed that about these fragrances. So you can spray them on your skin well before you go to bed. And when you wake up in the morning, you still have that beautiful scent around you on your clothes, your hair, on your pillow. It's gonna last you a long time. So in terms of similarity, I'm gonna say that Lone Ranger is about an 85 to 90% similarity. It is so unbelievably close to it. There are a couple subtle differences. Like I said, this one, the original is a little bit more salty and I feel like it's a little bit sweeter and there's just a little bit more of a punch in the opening. But with this one, once it does dry down, it smells so close to it. And honestly, I cannot knock it for that. And so Lone Ranger, I'd say it's a good 85% similarity. So that one is Lone Ranger. Now this next one is probably one of the closest inspirations that I have ever smelled. Now I want to say this one does pop in and out of stock. So don't worry if it is sold out, they do restock semi-frequently. So, you know, you will be able to get this at some point. So just hang in there if it's sold out. This one is Barrett Fragrance's bow line. And so this one is going to be very, very similar to Zerzhoff's 40 Knots. And there's something so incredible about the original 40 Knots. It's one of my favorite niche fragrances. It's one of my favorite summer niche fragrances because it has a beautiful ambery green aquatic vibe to it. It's so sweet. It's salty. It's marine. And it has a beautiful smoky driftwood accord to it. And it just makes it smell like you have a very expensive just kind of candle at the beach. And it doesn't have really any salty seaweed. It's more of a sea salt. So not like a fishy seaweed. It's not like a mega mare, you know, kind of weird cologne vibe. This one is just a classy, regal, expensive and luxurious smelling sweetness. And so far, I haven't been able to find any fragrances that quite do it as good as this one until I discovered Bowline. As you can see, it has that really nice colored juice and let's check out the atomizer on this one. Really strong, it has a nice blast of fragrance, especially like the last one and let's give this one a smell. I do not understand how they did this. Like it straight up just smells like they took this stuff, this juice, and they put it in the Barrett fragrance bottle. It is, it is so close, you guys. And this one is one of the longest lasting ones that I've worn. It's about a 10 to 11 hour fragrance. In fact, a little bit longer, especially on clothes, but on your skin, you're gonna get about that 10 to 11 hour mark, at least for me. But man, does this have that beautiful aquatic vibe. It's ambery and it has that nice salty sea, just kind of wood in there and it just smells so, so expensive smelling. It still has that really nice, deep complexity to it. This still manages to have that nice, beautiful, kind of waxy, soapy quality to it while still smelling very sweet. And you also have that just really nice, exquisite quality to this one. And man, I gotta say, it is probably a 95% similarity. So between this one and the original 40 knots, I mean, you'd be really, really hard to tell unless you really stuck your nose up to it. I feel like this one also comes off, again, slightly saltier in the opening, but this one still has that really nice salty vibe. It's just maybe not as strong in the opening, but as it dries down, you still have that beautiful smoky woody quality with that nice touch of kind of ambery aquatic vibes. And this is gold right here. Again, this is about a 95% similarity and it's gonna last you a good 11 hours or so. So this is a no brainer. And that one is Barrett Fragrance's Bowline. Last but not least, if you're looking for a nice version of Roja Elysium, this is the Parfum Cologne version, not the Parfum. The Parfum is a little bit more smoky. It's slightly more vetiver heavy and it is a 50 ml bottle, but you may only be getting, you know, an hour or two more of longevity. This one, it's still really good and it's one of my favorite summer, just vetiver fresh fragrances. And so Gladiator definitely captures that magic. Yeah, so I actually really like to look at this one. This has the gold kind of plaque on the front and the gold cap. So let's see how this one sprays. Yeah, for some reason, this one has the pressurized atomizer and this one just goes so, so hard and it smells like Elysium. So with the original Roja Elysium, I feel like this DNA is a little bit difficult to replicate, especially to get the opening to smell exactly the same. So Roja Dove uses a ton of different notes in his fragrance. And this one, it has a nice kind of juniper berry. It's got some black currant, some beautiful, refreshing grapefruit, and some vetiver in here with some peppers and woods, but really just a plethora of fresh, uplifting notes that's gonna be perfect for the summertime. And it's really a good option 
office friendly fragrance if you wanna just smell expensive and just fresh. Now Gladiator, when you first spray this on your skin and on the strip, I feel like you almost get a little bit more vetiver and grapefruit and not quite as much ambergris, at least in the opening. So in the original Elysium, I feel like the black currant is slightly more prominent and you know, these are inspirations. So they're not gonna be like a one-to-one, -one, well, maybe except for that 40 knots, but you know, there's gonna be a slight deviation with some of them. But with this one, I think it's a really nice version of that fragrance. And I actually like this one because it almost comes off a little bit muskier, especially as it starts to dry down. And you still have that really nice, just creamy quality. It still smells really masculine and just classic. And you still have some of those nice lemon and grapefruit accords with a little bit of that green apple. But I think the woodiness in here is a little bit toned up and you still have that nice vetiver in here. But man, this stuff just smells really, really good. I almost wanna say there is a slight mint vibe in here. So maybe it could be like the Artemisia or something in there that's turned up just a tiny little bit or just an addition of some other note in here that really, really does give that same vibe as the original, but it is just slightly different and a little bit more aquatic. It's, it's a really cool vibe here. So on the tester strips, this one actually, you can smell for a lot longer than you can this one. And so I wanna say that this one does perform just a little bit better than this one it pushes out a little bit farther and in terms of longevity they are pretty similar I want to say this one gets about like an eight or nine hour and this one can get about six to seven so this one's about 40 bucks it's about a tenth of the price and you be the judge. Don't get me wrong, I love the original Roja Elysium and you know, there is a huge place in my heart for niche fragrances. I love niche fragrances because they're just extremely artistic and you know, just the quality of them and just being able to spend, you know, money on an expensive fragrance. Sometimes you wanna reserve it for special occasions and you know, you sometimes carry yourself a little bit better when you wear something expensive. But you know, if you're looking for a really affordable version of that, that's gonna get you you know the same performance but a little bit better than this is a really good choice and that one's gladiator i can't believe i forgot about this one but i just wanted to talk about it really quick this one is cabo coast and this is going to be a twist on creed's virgin island water and i gotta say i've been wearing this one at least three four times a week and it's one of my favorite blind grab fragrances it's so creamy it's got a coconutty just lime salty vibe that is so irresistible and it pushes is like crazy in the summer. It performs really good for about four to five hours. And honestly, it leaves a beautiful oil on your skin. And so it's gonna be thick and it's gonna last you a heck of a long time. This one's about a 12 hour fragrance, no problem. And honestly, you could still smell it on your clothes 24 hours later, you know, days later. So even though I don't own the original Creed Virgin Island water, it smells very similar, but it is a nice, just salty, coconutty vacation fragrance. And so I did wanna talk about that. And that one is Coast. So there we have it. Those are some fragrances that I love from Barrett Fragrances. They're very close, you know, inspirations and they do deviate just slightly, but there are some that are way closer than the others. So whichever one you get, I'm sure you're gonna love it. Let me know down in the comments if you've checked out any fragrances from Barrett Fragrances or if you have any other really cool hidden gem fragrance houses like this one, because I don't know, this one's just got me excited and hyped. Thanks so much for joining me. You stay safe out there and I'll see you guys in the next one. I'm Eli with Common Sense. Until the next time, bye-bye. It's like that one meme with Pam from The Office. Corporate wants you to spot the differences. They're the same.